Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are taking a look at coin control. That is useful helpers and how I keep track of my crypto holdings. We had videos on wallets already, so I wanted to branch out a bit into general crypto content. So besides the actual wallets where I can monitor my different holdings, there are simple management tools and apps which can make your life much easier. I think the all time classic in that regard is Blockfolio for your phone and I still use it as secondary app to this day. It lets you build a portfolio and track transactions. My new favorite in that regard and what you have seen on the channel before is Delta Pro, another portfolio management app but rather a paid one. You can have multiple portfolios here and even switch coins and all your transactions around between them. I generally found it just to have more options than Blockfolio. So this helps me to keep track of my mining earnings for example, but generally of course also my crypto holdings. With Delta you can even sync it across different devices, so also PCs, but I have to say that I don't need it on each and every device I own. By the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these apps I'm showing you. It's just stuff that I've used myself through the years. I've been an Excel spreadsheet guy for years, but honestly, these apps just made it easier. I don't use any API access with these, so everything I put in here, I do manually. If you want to go completely crazy, you could add the power costs you had mining the coin you put in. For example, just put in your power cost in the buy price. For me, it's just a simpler overview for holding multiple projects or also when I do earnings updates on machines for you folks. It also helps me to see how the prices of what I mined changed and what stuff was worth when I mined it. So sometimes I leave the buy price of the time of mining it to have a comparison. It depends on the project. Of course, the old joy is still there when starting to mine a new project and you put in the first transactions. But generally, I bundle it and update it, say, weekly with some projects more bundled and long terms with some others. It really depends. For example, Ion, I bundle in hundreds and I don't put in anything for power because I just know the low power configuration of the Nvidia rig and that I pay that otherwise anyway. And yeah, with these apps you kinda have to get used to to add any crypto as transaction, even if you mined it, so you created that crypto, but I still treat it as a transaction. But I have to be honest, I could not imagine my crypto life without those apps anymore. That's already it, a delve into phone coin control apps and how to manage your portfolio and crypto earnings. Please check the channel for more crypto and generally tech and mining oriented content. Thank you very much for tuning in. All the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.